just some subtle details that, I mean, help give depth to this plane. Let's just check the tail section here. Yep, we have some more detail there. And like I said, is that we're going to be doing this throughout the plane, but instead of it being flat, is that now there is the start of some depth without even adding shadow. It's just in the, the base texture that we really have defined, is that we could add a lot more to this to really pop it out. But this is just giving it a little more detail for the overall appearance. So I'll jump back into Photoshop. on my UV template and I'm going to try to do this with the front of the plane here. So again I'll just go to my pen tool down a little bit. Oops, I gotta undo. All right, now move that down. Oops. There we go. And then fill that. Uh, I just had it overlapping a little bit, so it was gonna cause some problems. Take a look there, and we really don't. There's there's a subtle line there. And this is where when we get to situations like this I may need to change up the selection so that instead of just having it on one layer with the global light because that's what it's it's dealing with this angle here if I was to set this to 60 I'm gonna get a completely different result and this looks a lot better actually it looks better overall um, so, I mean, I can stick with this 60 degrees and get it to work. Um, I also may go into, like, the plane, and I'm just trying to guess where the, the start of the, um, engine is located. So I'll just do this, backspace, move it over a couple, backspace, move it over a couple, backspace, move it over a couple, backspace. Alright, we'll just try those three. make another selection like so and I'm gonna do select modify and I'm gonna do border this time and the border will be about two pixels and then hit backspace there and I'll just again save this jump over to 3ds max and you can see there is that now I have some more details I mean, running around the front of the plane, then I have this sort of box setup that's showing up. All right, so I've had the, I just have these extra details on the, the surface of the plane. And, I mean, there are other problems that they are on both sides, and we may only want it on one, but we're just trying to get, like I said, the, the overall detail down while we're doing this. And I just keep on going back and forth until I finally figure out, alright, I'm done. I, I don't need to do any more of this. And you may ask, alright, well when is that actually done? Um, and this is this becomes completely up to you. is that you can spend 
add as much time or as little time as you feel is necessary. I mean, the, the objective is to make this look good. going to try to do a little clean up here to make sure that that's basically straight. And I'm just looking around to see if there's any other areas that are really distinctive where I probably should have some more definition. And I mean, what you're seeing with all this definition, it's just a, a layer that I'm filling in with gray and using my, my layer styles to get this. I mean, there's nothing special about this that you probably didn't already know how to do. And like with certain sections, I try to keep them um, close to one another and almost like offset it, but I won't actually put them right next to each other or on top of each other. So like this here is that they're close to one another. Um, I may actually just try to select this and just try to nudge it over rather than do this. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to do that because it doesn't look too bad. Save this. again take a look at it and I mean hopefully you're seeing the detail that's coming out of this and I mean it, to me it's looking pretty good as far as what we're adding to this it's, it's really starting to to stand out um, at this point here we can try to take it a little further and add some more details and the details that I add here some of them are not going to work outright um, and I just call it rivets and uh, what this is is just a custom brush that's that has some dots on it to help with the separation of the metal and the reason I said that some of this isn't gonna work is that it just doesn't hold up because of the the texture stretching that's going on uh, the other part is is that I mean sometimes the the colors just don't work so I have my gray selected. I'm going to go to my brush and then I'm going to press F5 to open up my brush settings. And we have right now a scraggly line and I'm just going to go back to a three pixel brush like so. I want to go to the brush tip shape and I'm going to adjust the spacing to a thousand. And take a look at this. And 
And depending on the size of the canvas is that this spacing value is going to be relative. Um, at a thousand this doesn't look too bad for what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else except for have this brush basically be with my spacing at a thousand, hardness at 100%. Let's see if I increase it to four, what does it look like? Yeah, if I increase it to four, I'm going to drop the, the spacing down a little bit. Yeah, that that should be a little better. So I have the the brush spacing set to four, hardness at 100. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my pen tool. And for certain locations, I'm just going to do something like this. So I'm on the inside of this section here. come over like this and then right click and I'll do a stroke path and set it to brush hit OK and right click delete path and now we have these dots that actually followed the path we do have that gray paint that really doesn't work so I'm gonna set this blending mode to multiply right now so that this shows up a little clearer and now I can do the same thing with the other locations And if some place doesn't look right, uh, you can always try to edit it. Um, but I mean, this is just again to try to get us a, a rough start for our texture, so that we have a little more detail. Just going to add a secondary string of rivets on the outside here. Like so. Um, and I'm just turning off and on the UV template to find out all right, where is this location? So I'm going to go back to my drag selection tool and just move this a little bit and then stroke path this. And I mean, I could add rivets basically everywhere because that's what's holding the plane together. It's not hopes and dreams like some of you may think. 